Thank you for joining me in another video. Uh, here we're looking at awesome sim racing. This is an amazing app that a lot of communities use where you can upload your custom liveries. You can also download some custom liveries if some artists actually allow you to do so, which I will go through. Uh, it comes with a desktop client, which I will show how to sync up at the end as well. Obviously, I'm already set up. So normally when you go onto the website, um, you just go to obviously sign up, you go through all the details and then you come here and the desktop client, download that then. So you need to download the latest version, which I already have. So once you download that, this will be what you see. And then it's going to ask for your API key. So this is the main thing that you will need to sync up all deliveries to the leagues that you're in, which I'll go through in a minute. So to get the API key, we just go to the API key section. And that's my key, which I'm obviously going to change after this stream. So no one else uses it, of course. So, yeah. So with this, then you copy this. Uh, so you copy that API key, which I'll just do for this video. Just to show. So copy. And then you go paste that here. Save settings. And then we go to sync and then hit sync liveries. So any community you join all their liveries will show up. So while you're in a race, you're going to see every other racer's custom livery. And then whoever's doing commentary on it will get every single custom livery immediately. It saves downloading all these files and uploading them onto the game. It saves an awful lot of hassle and it's an absolutely invaluable tool. If you ask me, it takes literally one second to sync up. If there's a few new liveries, it takes a bit longer. There you go. Fully synced up and you just go in. That's definitely a lot, lot quicker than um, actually going through all the files one by one and downloading them. So in the next section, I'm going to show you how to upload a livery and how to assign it to your community as well. Now, thanks for joining back. I've just deleted that API so no one else can use that now. So that's grand. So the next thing you want to do, so you go to community. So you're looking to join a community. So whatever your community is, you can click on it and join. So you can go through here. So look, for instance, I'm in with Amigos already. So we'll go into that the one livery collection. And there you go. When you go into that, then you see all the liveries there. So it's great. Everybody has their own intake on what they want to add in. And there's several different liveries there, like community liveries for Amigos. That's one of mine, two of mine there. I suppose my purple horse. There's one of mine that I've done for Ash. Oh, there is my purple horse in here. Maybe it isn't. I thought it was. Maybe it is. Oh, yeah. There's way more down here then. So, yeah, so yeah, you join the community that you want to go in. As you can tell by my videos, when I like to rant on. So, let's go over to the delivery section now. So, basically, once you join the community, it'll give you the option to join. So, you've got unfollow and follow. So, obviously, you press that. I won't follow, and now I'm back following. So, then at least when I sync up, I will get all their liveries. So, that's very quick. So, we're going to get on now how to upload a livery. Um, and don't mind my waffling on, it is just how I am. So now we're back, we're on my account, so I pressed on my account. And then there's deliveries that I have uploaded so far. And we're going to look to actually set up a livery. So it's very simple. Add a custom ACC livery. Ash Race, and they're the ones I've done up. So I can edit these, you know, so just say for instance, um, like this one here that I've done for Nathan. I want to stop people downloading that. I just press remove on the ACC custom file. It will stop people from downloading that. Uh, and I can do the same for them all. But as I said, I leave them all up. Although I'm probably going to take them off our slag room ones as uh, they are ideally just for us, for our team. But if anybody wants a delivery that I've made and it's not available, just give me a PM and we can sort that out so i'm just going to save them off very simply done and that's it people will be able to see my livery but they won't be able to download it and use it themselves so now add acc custom livery now let me have a look here i'm going to open up the game guys while we're doing this because i can't remember what liveries i've made so yeah back in a second with the joys of youtube and quick editing Ah, sure would you look at that here we are so this is the car we made for how to make a livery in my previous video why not we'll upload this one for the crack so i'm gonna call it exactly what it is there so it's called youtube the car so that's the team name there 
So what I'll do, I'm just going to open back up here. We'll have it in the background. So title YouTube. Uh, car, we, that is an Aston Martin BHET3. So skin name. I have to remember the skin name here. And uh, yeah, my memory is like a sieve. So what I'm going to do, not that you can see it offhand. I'm going on to the car file to remember it. Uh, do, do, do. So I'm actually just going to open that in Notepad. It'll probably pop up there. So it's just called Moo. That's what I called at that time. So skin name, Moo. And now we need to find it here. So it's going to ask you then upload the decal PNG. So go to customs, liveries. So documents, a set of course of competizione, customs, liveries. And now I know we're looking for Moo. So I'm just going to go down to the M section. There we go. So it's asking for the decal file, which I'll add in there. So that's your decal PNG. Then it's going to ask for the decal 1DDS, which is this one here. We'll upload that. And then it's going to ask for the JSON file. The JSON files are always to the left of the actual PNG and the same for the sponsors. So just press on that. Let that load up. So that's up. I'm just waiting for the DDS one now. That's all up. Now it's going to ask for the sponsors. So straight away, the sponsor PNG, which you made earlier today. Then the sponsor one file. Then it's going to ask for the JSON as well. And then that's that one there. No, don't be afraid to pause it and go over again. That's absolutely fine. Um, and then ACC custom car file. So this is if you want other people to have access to download your liveries. Uh, you will just go back into downloads. So you go back to documents, AC, customs, but then you go to cars. And I remember this is the only one I've made today. So that's the car file and that loads up there. And then before you save it, oh, you normally do because I am the artist. So just go myself and to showcase it, show it. Now to add media, I just want to take a screenshot of this because I don't think I took a screenshot earlier. So I'm just going to get a nice screenshot of this. So at least when it showcases, people can see the car for what it is. So that's mm -hmm. screenshotted. And then normally go back, sorry, to this and add media. So I've already added the media of the other cars. So now we're going to go to pictures, screenshots and take the screenshot that I just took. Um, so let us go move for the crack save insert selected so that's sitting there we're going to press save and i'll make that bigger again for these guys and there you go so now you've uploaded it which is great but no community is going to see it until you press add to another delivery collection which we're going to do now okay so now we're happy that everything's uploaded and you see people can easily click on and download delivery file as well as the acc custom file drag that one into the car section i'll show you that one now in a minute as well so anyway, add to a little collection. So we're going to select collection. So because I'm already in the two of these, I'll go to Eleanor, select, save. It's as easy as that. Once you join a community, that's how easy it is to upload a delivery and to add it to a collection is the simplest thing in the world. Again, I'll add it to Amigos as well. Select collection, save, boom. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. There you go, done and dusted. Now, so I'm going to see if there is any open liveries for the crack. No, I'm going to leave that up there anyway, if anyone wants to download it and edit it. If their heart's content, I will not cry. I'm not one of these people that will cry too much about that. So I'm just going to go back to liveries, our communities for us. So I'm just going to go in. I'm pretty sure Eleanor let us um, download our Domingos. I think Chris might upload just to try and find the car for you so I can download. And I'm gonna, instead of doing a pause and come back, I'm just gonna talk absolute crap just for a minute while I try to find one. Uh, do, 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 Heather Central Leco. Oh yeah, so there you go. So you can just download the custom car file, which is now down there. Then delivery files, which is there. So I'm gonna open that. I'll drag that across. And then obviously I want to open that. So I'm just gonna, yep. So extraction, extract. And now I've got tethers. 
anything there. So I'm just going to drag that onto my desktop on the other screen for a minute, guys. X out of that. X out of that. And then I just want to get this JSON file as well, which I'm just going to drag to my other screen for a minute. So don't mind that. Now, so X out of that all together. And now I need to open up another file. So I'm going to go to the cars here. So that's open up on the side. So I'm going to drag the cars. So I'm going to drag that to there. That's the car file he made that. I don't know when, but it's there. And then we're going to go back to customs, liveries, and I'm going to drag across the livery folder to there. And skip these files. Add it in. So now, oh, I could have done. Right, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. So if I go to Honda NSX. Miranda, there we go. Where is it there? It's not, why is it not working? Uh, <laughs> it's always so happens. I'm gonna go back into unless it was for the old Honda, I don't know. Uh do, do, do Honda NSX. Okay, it's in there now somewhere. He goes racing team, there we go. By pressing that, it should load up. Yeah, there you go. So I'm after robbing that. That's his old livery. So it's as easy as that. So some communities can let you download liveries as well. God help you having to listen to me talking crap there for a minute. But that's honestly how easy it is to upload liveries and to download them and add them to the game. It's so, so simple. Every community should be using this. And I really, really do hope that this does help anyone out there who's either running communities or like myself, just a driver who wants to, you know, be able to learn this kind of stuff. Um, and it's all by trial and error. And I'm, I'm glad I'm able to share these silly things, which is. Um, so again, please smash that subscribe button. And thank you for watching and definitely watch my other video if you want to learn how to make custom libraries. It's a very basic guide and also in that I do give all the 3D meshes for all the cars, including all the cars and the 1.9 update as well. So all the Evo's done on that there. And um, yeah, guys, genuinely thanks for the support. Follow my TikTok, my Twitch, as well as my YouTube if you can. And uh, have a great day wherever you are. It's been a pleasure as always.